Hello friends, Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Power of the Primes, Octopunch, Bludgeon, and Bomb Burst. Now, these little Prime Armors are fantastic looking, and they, well, contain some Primes inside. More on that in a bit. Each one of these little dudes is based off of a G1, or Transformers Generation 1, Pretender Shell, and they look fantastic. Octopunch and Bludgeon are my favorite. Octopunch looks so good. And he transforms it. Well, I mean, they all transform exactly the same way. He transforms into... I'm assuming this is some kind of squid axe. It's fine. Though the uh, squid part does have it... Or the tentacles do have a tendency to just not want to stay on all that well. But Octopunch itself, just the paint... The detail, the molding are perfect. The only thing that would make it better would be a clear diver's helmet, as opposed to the one we have here, which is yellow. Inside Octopunch is Solus Prime, which is weird. Getting Solus Prime out, though, I have found is a little bit trickier than you might think. Though, if you have a nail, or fingernail, you can get it. And Solus looks okay. I like the coloring, the lavender... The purple slash lavender and the teal with the yellow work really well. The actual prime thing, I don't know. I like it. I like the design. I like it in purple better than what we've already seen. But, man, Octopunch. Super happy to have Octopunch again. I, I love the look of Octopunch. Bludgeon also looks equally fantastic in the original G1 color scheme. The purple, the yellow, or I should say this is more of an orange-yellow, the gold and the gray, all work incredibly well. And the detailing on the skull is fantastic. I can't zoom my camera in any more than this, otherwise it gets too blurry, but it works really well. Transformation, again, flip out this giant cannon that looks very much similar to an old Japanese cannon. I like that. Inside we have Quintus Prime. Again, the color scheme continues. The orangish color and the purple work really well. Fold it up. Looks okay. Looks like a beaker. Looks like, a, I'm sorry, like a Bunsen burner actually. It works. But still, I, I'm loving, loving the detailing on both Octopunch and Bludgeon. Finally, we have Bomb Burst, who is a little bit dull compared to the other two, but equally well painted, just very well painted, if not a little bit Spartan. But the different color grays work incredibly well. The detailing on the head sculpt is fantastic. It's just so neat looking and so nice to see Hasbro going back to G1 and making these little G1 dudes. Weapon mode is just the same as the first batch. In fact, it is the exact same as this dude. In fact, the parts are exactly the same, just different paint. Inside Bomb Burst, we have Megatronus, which is weird because I already have a Megatronus. He's right here, and red, and gnarly, and evil looking. Rawr! This Megatronus, however, is not as evil looking, but he is equally evil in the fact that you can't get him out of the stupid container. Come on, Pretender. Come on, Prime. Get out of there. Come on. You're supposed to be a bastion of evil. Well, you are impossible to get out of here. There we go. Flipped it over. Oh, yeah. Coloring. Same grays colored here. Silver face. I do appreciate the paint on the face. And then fold it up. You know what? Both of these look pretty darn good. I like both of these. The pink, or slight off pink, off red, and the grays, versus the orange red and fire. So this could be default state, and this could be powered up. I actually like that a lot. That contrast works. I'm really happy with these guys. I think they are superb. They look awesome. And they also work really well in the whole prime armor motif of them all being original G1 pretenders. I actually really like that idea. Not so much the execution, but I like the idea and the effort that Hasbro and Takara went through to do that. So, would you pick so should you pick these up? I would definitely pick up Octopunch and Bludgeon. They're so colorful and cool. You don't have to pick up Bomb Burst cuz he's effectively the same as Skullgrin, 
But if you want to have all of these guys who are, again, as I said, very similar or modeled after the original G1 Pretenders, you're going to have to pick them up. I picked the setup over at thechosenprime.com. They're available now at the time of this recording. So head on over there and pick them up if you can. They are also showing up in stores now. I did just see them at Target today. So there is that. So folks, let me know what you think of these down in the comments. As always, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ball Matrix, and I will catch you next time.